Hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Rhea, I'm a senior in college who tries to work on her high fantasy novel on the side sometimes. If this is your first video, I would love it if you hit subscribe um, and if you hit the like button because that really supports my channel. Without further ado, I thought that I would just kind of walk through what my, like, my timeline is to publish my novels. Um, or my novel. Novels is the goal, but I will accept novel. Like, we'll see where it goes. Also, I just want to say that there is a football game happening not that far from where I am right now. So if you hear random shouting and cheering and music in the background, that's probably it. Just so you know. So I know the title of the video is Timeline to Publishing, sort of, and I say sort of because I, like I said, am a senior in college and I don't know where I'm going to be this time next year, where I'm going to be living, what I'm going to be doing. So I have outlined the next like nine-ish months. So it's currently September 2023 and I have outlined my path or my timeline to June 2024. And I have it written down here. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of go through it and, um, and just kind of talk about all of the goals that I have for every month. Okay, before I get into the whole timeline, I want to give you guys some context on where I am right now. So, like I said, currently it's September 2023. I am working on book two of what is going to be a seven or eight book series. I don't know how many just yet because I am a pantser and I have no idea how many books this is going to end up being, but ballpark idea, seven to eight books. I came up with the whole idea for the story last year in August, so it's been about a year since. I started writing draft one of book one um, on October 29th, 2022, and I finished that draft on this, or January 29th, 2023. So it took me 90 days to write the first draft of book one. That draft, I wanted to leave alone and just kind of let it sit for like 30, or not 30, <laughs> three months. So while I did that, I wanted to work on another novel in the series. So I picked up the prequel, which was a terrible idea because that gave me immense writer's block. I don't know why I just couldn't write this prequel. It was awful. Three months passed. I started to just like give up on the prequel for now and decided to come back to it later. And so I started working on book two instead. But then book two gave me a lot of trouble because I started writing it, I got 20,000 words in, and I realized it's just not gonna work. So I had to scrap the whole thing and then replot the whole thing. It was this whole thing, but eventually I figured it out and currently I'm working on book two. Right now, book two is about 31,000 words and counting. Okay, so that's all the context. Okay, so looking at this timeline, my goals for August, which was last month, was were to start writing draft one for book two, which I did. Also, my goal was to continue writing draft two for book one, which I did do. Um, so what I'd done over the summer was go through draft one for book one and just like make notes of revisions and stuff. Um, and then my goal in August was to start actually implementing those revisions and start rewrite of book one, so. I did do that, but then I realized that I'm not the kind of person that can work on two novels at the same time, especially as a senior in college. I just don't have that kind of time, unfortunately. And also I just don't have that kind of headspace. Like only one thing can exist in my brain at a time. So I have currently put book one, um, draft two on the shelf. It is going to be dealt with later on and, and I'll talk about it in the timeline. I also wanted to start vlogging, which I did. I wanted to start doing like some freelancing work, like uh, offering like editing services and such. But I just, like I said, I don't have that kind of time. So I didn't end up getting to that. Also with like starting a vlog and everything, I just didn't want, I just didn't want to overwhelm myself and, and just do try to do too much. So moving on to September, which is this month. My goals for this month are to work on book two and reach about 50,000 words or the midpoint of the book. Okay. So my last book, the first book of the series was 130,000 words when it ended. That is a lot of words. Obviously 50,000 was not really the midpoint for that novel. So 
I don't know, I don't think 50,000 is gonna be the midpoint for this novel because I was just calculating today. And I think I'm gonna reach 50,000 a little bit before the midpoint even happens. Like I'm talking maybe 10, 15,000 words before the midpoint happens. I don't know what, what that's gonna look like in September. So the goal is to get to the midpoint, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, then again, I have, it's, it's like September 9th, I think today. So I have quite a bit of a month left. So I will do my best. And then another goal that I had for September was work on draft two for book one, but I, I made a note to say that's not the priority, but try to make some progress. I don't think that I'm going to because I just want to be able to focus on this book right now. When I work on draft two, I want it to be like full, in, like full focus. There's no, not, no distractions. And that is because that is the draft I want to send out to beta readers. So I want that draft to look good. I want it to be, I want to be content with that draft. First drafts, no one are going to read those. Second draft, I want to make sure that I can give it my full and complete attention. Okay, moving on to October. Uh, continue on book two. No specific word count goals. I just said that it would depend on how far I got in September. So I do obviously want to make progress in October because it's such a bright, cozy writing month. I feel like I will get a lot of progress on. And then I also said to continue on draft two for book one, which like I said, I'm not going to for now. And then November, 2023, I want to be nearing the end of draft or the end of book two. But like I said, looking at it right now, I just, I, I can't really gauge how long it's gonna take me. I'm not gonna put my, put too, too much pressure I think ideally the goal is to just get it done by December, which is what it says here. December 2023, I'm going to wrap up um, book two and then leave it alone until April 2024 for three months because that is what I have found works for me. Leaving it alone for three months really, really helped me for book one. So in December is when I want to start on draft two or yeah, draft two of book one full force ahead. like. No other distractions, working on just draft two for book one. December, I will also be on winter break. That means that I will have far more time to work on it, hopefully. I just wanna make as much headway and progress on draft two for book one as I can. I'm definitely gonna have to adjust these a little bit, but I also in December wanted to work on some world building. And I think for me, my best way to do world building is like write short stories that exist or take place in my world. Regardless of whether or not those characters will appear in the novels or not, I just want to just kind of have a better idea of the world and just expand it because right now it's very small. Like right now I don't know that much about the world, but also like I think book one and two are not going to go that deeply into the world as they take place in the same city. I think it will come more into play after book two, so like books three, four, etc. Right now, I haven't been focusing on the world building. I just want to be able to do that before I start getting into the story, really, like into the series. Apparently there is a touchdown. I had such a hard time writing the prequel, like I mentioned. While writing draft two for book one, I could just implement like flashbacks. Cause again, I write best through writing. Like I plot best through writing. I do everything as like just writing is the best thing I can do. So I was thinking of putting some flashbacks in book one that I could then like collect and pull together to create the prequel and then delete them before I send them out to beta readers. The other thing I said for December is to read because I feel like when I'm writing, whenever I have free time, I'm writing, I'm not reading. And that is a problem for me. Like I'm the kind of writer that has to be reading something in that genre as I'm writing to keep my head in that kind of space. With all of this going on in December, I don't know how much time I will have. And then in January, 2024, it says to wrap up draft two. I don't know if that's gonna be possible because like I said, I'm not really working on it right now and I think that that's the best decision for the story. But I also said to do some brainstorming for the prequel and then start tackling my TBR. Um, there are a lot of books in my, my to be read list, like a lot. There are hundreds of them and I would like to make some progress on those. So um, I wanted to start like a big series that is like really popular but has a lot of books 
And so I decided to maybe start reading like Mistborn because I have been like watching Brandon Sanderson's like lecture videos and I think he's a great teacher of writing. So I want to see what kind of writer he is. Or um, R. Hobb, um, I forgot the, the title of the series, but it's like Assassin something, Assassin's Apprentice. Um, that I've heard is a really good series. In February 2024, I want to finish brainstorming for the prequel and do some more readings and then start looking for beta readers. Give them an estimated date for when I can give them like draft two for book one. That will depend on how much progress I can make in January and February for draft two. I want to find at least three beta readers to give the draft two. February is pretty chill. Those are the only three things that I'm doing there. If needed, I can kind of push that timeline in because I've created some sort of buffer anyway. So I can work on draft two a little bit longer than necessary because I built that buffer. Then March, uh, read more books. I love reading, which is why I love writing. I it goes hand in hand. And I also wanted to start writing the prequel again in March. And I feel like at that point I should be somewhat ready to write the prequel, hopefully. So I wanna be done with draft two by March and leave it alone for like two weeks and then read over the draft and make any notes, things to send to the beta readers. Notes that I wanna give them while they're reading to keep in mind. Also a list of things that I wanna ask them or to like look out for as they're reading. By the end of March, send out the draft to and the notes and the questions to the beta readers. I'm very excited for that. Like I am super excited. That'll be the first time that I'll get feedback from beta readers or from anyone. And that'll be the first time anyone who will have ever read the novel. It is, oh my God, it's so exciting. I don't even want to think about it right now because it will, <sighs> it's distracting. It's so distracting. April, 2024, I want to read through book two. So I usually read through two pass, like make two passes um, on the first draft is what I did for book one and it really worked. So. I think what I'm going to do is read through it twice and then read more books is the other goal and then continue working on the prequel. May, I'm going to be graduating in May. So I've left May very, very sparse. Book two for a second round of edits and then make a reverse outline, continue working on the prequel and reach a midpoint uh, or 50,000 words. I don't know what I'm going to be doing in May. I obviously will be graduating, but then beyond that, I don't know where I will be. And then for June, I have left a ton of space. Essentially for June, I want to collect and organize all of the beta reader feedback and then continue working on the prequel and reach the 75% mark. That's it for June because again, I don't know where I'll be living, what I'll be doing and yeah, how busy or how much time I will have by then. As much as I would like to, you know, plan past that, I it would just be a waste of time. But yeah, that is my path or timeline to publishing sort of. I know I, this leaves me with, in June, that leaves me with like draft two of book one and just collecting like the beta reader feedback that I've gotten. So obviously the next step is to read through that and organize it and just kind of try to figure out ways that I can implement it into draft three. But I would expect book one to be five or six drafts, which sounds like a lot, but honestly, like I think the later drafts will be a lot easier to write because draft two, I'm essentially rewriting the novel, which will obviously take a long time. It was like a complete overhaul and it was a total developmental edit kind of thing. So that is definitely gonna take me longer to write because I do wanna make sure that the story is structurally sound before I start making it look pretty and nice. Because developmental edits are so, so difficult and I really despise them sometimes, but they are obviously most important to the novel. I have never gotten that far with a novel before, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I just know that it's, it's every step for me is gonna be new and I'm gonna have to figure out how I work and how I, you know, do my best work at every step. I know that this is subject to change. Uh, like I said, there are already things that I have written that I can't do anymore. Looking at this has made me realize just how hard it is to write a novel and why it takes people years and years to write a novel. Definitely not one of the easier hobbies to have sometimes. I'm really excited about where it's going. I. Like I said, I don't know where I'm gonna be next year, but I know that this novel is gonna be with me, that this series is gonna be with me. It's kind of comforting to think of it that way. Like.
like this will always be a part of me and always be with me no matter where I go or who I change into. I'm really glad that I have this and that it, it you know, it, it's slow but steady progress is being made on this. Obviously, I would like to make faster progress, but that would mean that would require me dropping out of college completely and like committing my entire like life to just working on this novel, which would be ideal. That would be great. Oh my god, if I could have like a fairy godmother grant me a wish, it would be that one. Part of this is just trying to figure out how to fit this into my life and not the other way around. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. This was really fun to make and I would love to hear about your timelines or any goals that you have in mind for this month or for this the rest of this year as the writing season, I like to call it, is coming up. I'm very, very excited. As always, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.